Hey everybody. So we've been talking a little bit about the difference between a reality confirmer, so this idea of self that goes out believing this is how I am, this is how the world is, I need to change stuff, but all that activity of change does is reconfirm and reinforce that apparent existing reality. So the, the attempt at change, all it's doing is, is making more and more concrete the, the very thing that we're, we're trying to get rid of or have more of or, or have differently. So there's that. And then there's the reality dissolver, which is this moving moving into the world into the form into the relationship with with as as openness as presence available um to to see it to really hear to see and hear and in, in that openness and in that presence, nothing can stay the same. And that's where change comes from. That's what we've been discussing. That's where change comes from. And so the question really is, what, what is it that makes it, I'm not saying my tease today, you're noticing, what is it in Cardiff? What is it that makes a difference between Confirmer, reality confirmer, or reality dissolver. And it seems to me that the absolute fundamental, um, pivotal point, which, which determines one or the other, is, is the understanding of what suffering is. So, so brilliant that we have this. Suffering, God, it's such a gift. And we, in misunderstanding, we, we just don't realize it. But suffering, that feeling, I'm not talking like physical pain or, um, I'm just, I'm talking about the suffering that comes from a threatened idea of self. So, that defensiveness and that um, tightness of feeling they don't like me or I'm going to get this wrong or I'm going to embarrass myself or um, they're going to laugh at me or um, that that situation is, is threatening my security you know, it's threatening my my um, my grip, my control, my, my sense of who I am and of what I have and how things should be. That's the suffering we're talking about. Because when that suffering is taken at surface value as something that has to be got rid of, then, then all that's happening in that moment is is, is a, re a reinforcing of our idea of self, a reinforcing of reality, because the suffering is threatening that. And we're saying change, change will take the suffering away. Change will make me feel better. If they were different, I'd feel better. If, um, if I had more approval, I'd be like, I'd be better. If, you know, do, do you see what I mean? So the, the suffering is an indication that the identity is under threat and the desire for change that comes from that need to take the suffering away to continue to reinforce the, the identity is the very thing keeping the reality in place. No change is possible. So cool. It's so cool to see this. And on the other hand, the understanding of what what, what that suffering really is, that it's a threat to a made-up identity. And, 
and really that no no amount of change is ever going to take that away because the identity is such a fragile <laughs> nothing that of course it's going to be under threat it's constantly under threat but to see that the suffering is telling us that the suffering is saying whoa 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 careful there's a misunderstanding going on there's there's a protection of something that doesn't need to be protected going on there is behavior and action about to happen to defend an idea that doesn't need to be defended don't don't bother <laughs> don't, don't waste your time and instead so what happens then instead is that instead of trying to get rid of that suffering instead of our whole lives being about that eternal sunshine of the spotless mind of no nothing must challenge this space this perfect space here instead of that we we're like bring on bring on what this suffering is saying there's there's richness here there's wealth here to really allow so much that's not true to fall away and as that stuff that's not true falls away the of course the desire to change any of it goes as well because it's gone and and then there's just what's left and what's left is just really as as close into reality as we can possibly get and so we respond to that reality and that's and stuff changes and it's simple and it's so easy and it's because we're not fearing the suffering we're going into the suffering we're seeing it for what it is it's it's telling us all your energy all all your effort is involved right now in in building a sandcastle to protect yourself and um not it's not necessary it's not doing anything it's fine and we all do it of course we all do it because we all have these areas where we believe that if they're threatened we'd be nothing <clears throat> we believe everything depends on maintaining that that um self-belief and just but that's why we're here we're that's why we're in this conversation to to notice that that suffering we've been misreading it all along we've been trying to get rid of our, of it instead of welcoming it in with open arms for the for the for the gift of um dissolving that it is so so that's cool yeah we'll talk more about that and um yeah, hope all, all well so far and um, see you soon. Big love. Bye.